Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach and in this video we're doing another Ecomi Omi VV video as per usual. Let's have a quick look at the price because I know some people want to see it. 0.003118 of a low of 3096 and a high of 3484. Over the past 24 hours, not a huge amount of range. That said, we've just come off looking at this video already, uh, but we sort of basically, we've changed things up a little bit. So Kay's about to now ask about marketing for Omi, right? Not VV specifically, but Omi. And then Alex essentially, who is the new senior director of marketing, I believe, um, basically goes over his thoughts and then Reese goes over his thoughts and it's really important. So let's jump into it. Omi token, uh, because I'm aware that uh, on the VV side, but also marketing for the Omi token, uh, because I'm aware that, um, you know, in the past, Google was quite tight with the kind of crypto marketing with the ads, but they've relaxed their policies quite recently. Um, so are you going to be the person who's leading the way in terms of um, marketing on the OMI side? And if so, what kind of forms might that marketing take? Well, I'm very happy to announce that I will not be involved in any way. With <laughs> not to say that I, uh, I'm not excited about it. Obviously, I wouldn't be here if I, if I wasn't, but I'm specifically focused on VV and the digital collectibles and the, building the VV brand moving forward. I, I'll leave Omi to Reese in the in the Ecomi team, uh, but I will be focused specifically on VV. Omi side is, is definitely my side of the uh, my side of the equation. Um, <clears throat> You know, as we list on new exchanges, they obviously come with all their campaigns, things like that. I don't, like when it comes to Google relaxing their advertising rules, like I don't think you're just going to see the Omi token plastered on a Google ad. Um, you know, we, we really benefit from the fact that we have such a big user base now with Vivi and obviously that's going to... Sorry, I just actually see an interesting question here by Laurie Walking Feather, who might be watching this if I... Anyway, <laughs> um, hello if you are watching this. Um, real quick, from what I understand with Alex, and this is the same thing with Reese in a way, is that the marketing firm, which I'm assuming they're talking about, continue to grow. Right at so. the bottom there, you can see what's his job versus the marketing firm. RNCPMK, I'm assuming, is what they're talking about there. I have a feel like RNCPMK, I don't believe, are going to be almost anything to do with social media. I think it's going to be the mainstream crowd, getting them on news channels, etc., maybe on some billboards uh, at Times Square, who knows what that might be etc do some of the pr stuff but i think from an actual marketing point of view and especially from a social marketing point of view i think that that's gonna likely be reese um and alex and the rest of the team uh working on that and i think that's honestly gonna be um equally as important if not more important than what rncpmk are bringing to the table that being said that's me saying that from a point of view where i'm a lot more into the type of marketing that alex and reese are doing i've never really um, done anything with a with a company like RNCPMK where they do that sort of PR stuff um, with, like I say, with uh, I don't know cable television, with the you know the traditional, I suppose, marketing outlets being billboards, etc. I think that the majority of other stuff is going to be social through Alex, basically, probably doing you know Google ads and YouTube and YouTube ads on certain NFTs for certain demographics, you know building the Twitter, following up Instagram, etc., putting out promotions for the new NFT that comes out, building it pipe, etc. So, a lot of the OMI, you know, I hesitate to use the word marketing as such, but once we've integrated OMI more fully into the app, it means that we can just introduce it to an entire user base that may not be aware of it in a very targeted way, right? Because we've already got people using VV for the experience uh, that it provides, and then you're giving them another way to supplement that experience you know whether that you know by whether giving like using the army token gives them an advantage over um you know the exchange rates for example or, or the app store fees or, or whatever happens to be there's enough sort of incentive mechanisms we can build in there then you add to the fact that some items in the store you will only be able to buy in omi for example so you know i, I think that it, I'm, I'm not expecting to be rolling out a traditional style marketing plan, you know, where we would run Google ads for the token, um, basically yeah. because it's just not necessary, right? We've yeah. already got a user base that's building on one side of of the company with VV and it, and it gives us a lot of advantage and opportunity to market directly to those people. Um, you know, but but to supplement that, you know, we, we've got influencer campaigns and, and obviously marketing campaigns that come with the exchanges. They always run their trading comps, all those kind of things. Um, 
so they'll all be part of the story as well. But yeah, I, I'm not, at, at least at this point, it's not in the, the horizon to just advertise the token on Google or things like that. I, I really agree with this, right? It's like, it's actually, and this is something that I say is from a gaming point of view, because I'm, I, I, I run in gaming stuff, as you might be aware at this point, if you've been following the channel for a while. It's actually, you know, I've been explaining some of the crypto stuff and the NFT stuff to my gaming communities, right, who are a bit further, well, quite a lot further away from crypto. Um, and it's interesting because explaining this to them, it's like saying, look, you don't buy your Fortnite skins or your Valorant skins or whatever skins from whatever, you know, items in whatever game. You buy them with the in-game currency, whether that be V-Bucks for Fortnite, Valorant points for Valorant, COD points for Call of Duty, you get the deal. You never buy a Fortnite skin with dollars or with pounds or with your local currency in general. And you don't generally buy anything, um, you know, in-game at least for, on any multiplayer game in-game currency wise it's normally you buy a currency sorry low currency wise normally you buy an in-game currency etc now the reason why people are buying that currency is because of the use case of that currency in game of course that means that you can play with better skins this that and the other with vivi of course it's allowing you to actually take part and buy the nft specifically and as we saying soon nfts are going to be omi only so i think from a marketing point of view i'm not sure how much marketing omi is going to need because the reality is that vb is essentially the marketing for it right it's a weird way to say that even because it should it's not necessarily needed to be the way to market it it's just that's how it is and i think as more and more people use vv the omi token is just going to be picked up even more and then of course conversation will inherently and naturally i think build up around the OP omi token as well but as we're saying i don't think that there's any point really uh you know the the, the reality as well is that the the, the the majority of, of VV users are going not to be crypto users, most likely. You know, the whole point of VV is to make it so that you can enjoy VV without having to be a crypto head. That's how I got into it in the first place. I wasn't a crypto head. I learned more and more about crypto. I've been looking at Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, etc. But as far as actually like looking at every exchange, looking at every coin, I don't do that. I look at the use cases because that's what I do. That's what I'm interested in. And VV has probably one of the most interesting and most understandable as well use cases for someone like myself who has grown up in gaming, entertainment, etc. I can see exactly where VV is going. And from what I'm getting, it's almost like it's basically like V-Bucks. It's, it's, I mean, it's obviously very much more complex than V-Bucks. You know, you can't buy V-Bucks, uh, you know, as a, as a, as a thing like you can uh, in crypto, etc. But as far as people actually buying Omi, they're going to buy Omi because they are, you know, they're buying, uh, they're buying NFTs. And then, of course, there will be conversation around what Omi does, and that will just propel it further. Uh, just a quick follow-up on that. Um, well, more more on the kind of campaign side. Um, so this week was obviously a really, really big week, uh, especially for myself, uh, since uh, we got to and that be, I guess, the first like non-official Ecomi people to announce the Ghostbusters drop. And reaction was generally, I would say, like 99% really positive. It was like unique, new, um, and people were really kind of generally like, enjoying it. Um, but there were people who were confused as to why. So, so I'm, I'm going to phrase it in like an, in nicer terms. But they were confused as to why Ecomi let um, um, community members announce the drop as opposed to leveraging their kind of vast resources of marketing. Um, so I think it's best if they hear it from you as to why that was the case. Yeah, I mean, let's not sugarcoat it. Some people just got butt hurt because someone else found out before them, right? And I think that's okay to say. Uh, now, as we've said in the last, I think Dan mentioned it a week or two ago, um, we are starting an ambassador program, right? And, and the initial phases of that uh, to bring in the people that are that are openly and publicly supporting us in the community. Now that goes from all of our community mods to people that are active on Twitter, you guys creating content on YouTube, all of these kind of things. Uh, and it's always been a very integral part of our journey I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. And, and really the story that we're all creating to be involved in the community, right? I mean, we do these AMAs, everybody's interviewing each other on, on everybody's channels, everyone's creating incredible content. And, and because of the, the core that has been built there, you know, it, it really means that we haven't had to dive too far into spending money on marketing. Um, so, so enabling that for 
the people that are disseminating information is just a way for us to give back and to say thank you. This was the first time we tried it. Um, and, and it was actually just by complete chance. Wannabe Champ reached out to me and said that you guys were doing a stream. Was there anything we wanted to share? And we thought, all right, well, yeah, let's give this a go. Um, and, and as you said, you know, it, it was received really well by 99% of people. To the 1% of people that got upset about it, I, I mean, I'm honestly a bit befuddled by it. Like the ghost trap has been listed in the store for months. Everybody knew that it was coming at some point. Um, so I don't think that anybody was disadvantaged by, by not being a part of that. Um, it was really just a way for us to say thank you to you guys. Uh, give you something cool to share and and we're going to continue to do things like that moving forward because we have such an incredible network of people now you know it, from a company standpoint from a community standpoint it just makes sense to leverage that and and to to continue to involve you guys as much as possible in in this journey thank you I see. Uh, do I bring a negative attention or attention to a negative comment? Maybe I don't. Not I'll leave sure. it. You can see um, what I'm looking at. Who else we got up here? Someone got a question for Alex while we're here? I believe. Yeah, or... go. I got yep. uh, a question if nobody does. Or I believe. Do you have a question? Yeah, yeah let's go. I, have. Um, I just wanted to know what type of strategy, marketing strategy, you guys have in plan if you're able to share. I know you can't mention any sort of celebrities or influencers. But what would be like a type of um, what would be a type of uh, strategy for you know uh, like the Met Ambassador program, for example? Based on how they've asked this, it sounds like people are genuinely confused and really confused as to how marketing for VV even goes. And I'm going to put this into more videos. I think that I need to take more advantage of the fact that I am a marketing nerd. Um, and so I'm going to start making more, I think, VV marketing videos about like things that we can expect to see probably. And I'm not inside Ecomi. I mean, yes, I've spoken with Reese to this and the other, um, but I don't know anything secret or anything. And I'm not under, and under any NDAs for Ecomi like I am with other things that I cover. So that's not a problem with me whatsoever. Um, but I do think that, you know, people, like I say, think it's a button that you press and then everything starts to, to, to go off. Um, and I, I'm excited to talk about how we could see certain NFTs be marketed and what sort of things we can expect. And I think then people might not feel like this whole situation and subject of marketing and reaching new people is as foggy as it is. So uh, I'm going to do that. But this is already 12 minutes long. And I'm going to try and make some more content about what we're seeing on this uh, podcast or this video, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm also going to look at the other brands because I have seen some brands that are quite interesting that I haven't really covered about how they can be marketed. You know, MGA Entertainment, the easiest way I can put that is, you know, TikTok can be been huge for that. You know, you have YouTube and even YouTube uh, MGA are doing well with with their LOL brand. But I think uh, the TikTok stuff is going to be amazing. And I, I'm interested to see how I can maybe um hopefully inform some people who are interested in that so if you're interested in that and you're not already subscribed to the channel all that good stuff but if this video was interesting or helpful to you in any way before my like is always much appreciated make sure to subscribe to kyle wilson's channel as he has very kindly recorded the entire thing for two hours normally these things happen at a stupid time for uk people somehow k's always here but regardless i know he's uh i know ecomi is one of his well i'd imagine it's one of his main things because he's here so much um but with that being said let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below thanks for watching have a great day i'll see you in the next video